Hey guys, this is Ify and welcome back to my kitchen. So today I'm going to be sharing with you those kitchen utensils and appliances which you should have, which you must have in your kitchen if you want to make your kitchen experience a very interesting one. You know, before I started or before I decided on this topic, I thought long and hard, should I show you, you know, share with you my favorite appliances in the kitchen or should I go a little more practical and show you and share with you items you should have in your kitchen if you're starting out, if you're you know, a first time person in the kitchen or if you're moving to a new home or you know, you're just setting up your kitchen for the first time, yeah? So this is what we'll be doing. Practical equipment and utensils you must have in your kitchen to make it beautiful, fun and interesting, okay? And if this is your first time on my channel, your first time stopping by, thank you and welcome. Thank you so very much. And if you're an old time subscriber, hey, I really, really do appreciate you always coming back to watch my videos. I totally, totally love you so much and I really appreciate it. Thank you. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So the first item we will be starting with is a cutting board or chopping board. Now, you should note that I'm not saying this in order of importance or um, the favorite or number one item. No, I'm just going along, you know, as the spirit leads. I'm just sharing with you what you should have. But you should note that there is one item, the baba of all items, the one that you must have, like, if you don't even buy any other item you must have this one i will share it with you as we go along because i don't want you all to you know just sign off this video you know how you do now <laughs> so let's start um yeah chopping board or cutting board guys this item is very important it's a no-brainer you've got to chop or cut on a chopping board yeah instead of cutting on um i don't know some people just cut with their hands or fingers do you want to cut yourself so no, a chopping board is very important and as you can see here, I have different colors and um, I have different chopping boards. This is for different items. But if you are a newbie or you're on a budget, you do not need to buy different chopping boards. Although it'll, it'll be fine, you know, food safety, you should have different chopping boards or cutting boards for different things like vegetables, you need one chopping board. For your meat, you need another for your um, bread or cold food, for your fish, you need another cutting board. But if you're on a budget or you're a first timer, like I said, you can get one or two chopping boards. And when you're done using it, make sure you clean it very well with lemon juice or vinegar, okay? Just clean it very, very well and then you take off all the bacteria and then you can use it for something else. You guys get great. So, We'll move on to number two. Now, number two item will be your knives. Like, they are very, very essential. You must have knives, okay? So you have your knife blocks. I cook a lot and I've gathered it over the years. So I have like two or three or four knife, knife blocks, yeah? And now these knives are for different things, okay? So like, look at this one, this serrated one. So if you can get a knife block like this, it is fantastic, yeah? So this serrated one you can use for your baked goods or for your bread that's what it is for then you you need a chef knife one that is big strong for cutting um like your onions or your meat or something you need the smaller ones for your vegetables and your fruits you know so different um these knives have different functionalities and of course we know that no matter no matter the quality of the knife with usage it gets dull over time so you need a knife sharpener but if you like to get one like this this one comes with an inbuilt knife sharpener so each time you pull out the knife it sharpens it that's why i really really love this knife set so if you can look for one like this even better okay so it's just three 
three sets but it really does the work like I said so anytime you pull it out it sharpens it it works great for me I love it and keeps my knives nice and sharp and of course safe to use so having your knives different kind of knives in a kitchen is very very essential and make sure they're always sharp okay because the sharper your knives are the safer it is to use okay great so number three for me and remember what i said this is in no particular order of importance it's just as the spirit leads that kind of thing yeah you need your utensils guys you need you need very very essential and um i like to work with silicon utensils and um wooden ones as well this is because it prevents scratches from your pot i don't even think i own a stainless steel you know spoon or anything like it'll just scratch your pot and why do you really want that so i think it's safer you go for the silicone ones and um you need a, a utensil holder like this to just make everything nice and neat but over time i've gathered so much so this cannot house everything you know so i just keep them in my um cabinet my cupboard like this and then some fit in here you know what i mean just get yourself utensils basically and okay part of the utensils that i think are very important important you need your kitchen shears okay so you can use this to cut your vegetables or cut your herbs or cut fish you know the fins of the fish it's just safer than using a knife so this is very handy and make sure you get a good quality one very very important strong good quality then of course you need a vegetable peeler guys this is so important like i can't even scrape or peel a carrot without this you need it for peeling your potatoes as well your cucumber it is so fast and it is so handy so please get this it's really really good and it's quite affordable and there are different types but this is a potato or vegetable peeler it's very important yeah so yeah this is you just get your utensils and most utensils come in a set and the good thing is that if you're able to get a set of utensils all the different types of spoons you need are there you would even get a brush you know you get a wire whisk you get a thong so i'd say go for a set of utensils they usually come in one color so yeah if you like that kind of thing all right so this is very very important get your utensils make them silicone and wooden spoons all right great so number four would be your measuring items and i mean your measuring spoons no measuring cups your measuring spoons and this is your measuring this is for measuring liquid especially if you're a baker okay you need this very very essential and your weighing skill if you're trying out recipes you need to get this to be as accurate you need your measurements to be as accurate as possible they're just really really good to have in the house and having i find that having a set of measuring cups you know there are different sizes this is like one cup half cup one third one fourth they just come in different sizes and just the the spoons as well you have one tablespoon half tablespoon one teaspoon or quarter one eighth that kind of thing and the cups to also come in measurement like one cup two cup this is just a two cup measuring cup this is for liquid okay this one for your dry ingredients and i find that having measuring cups are very essential it helps you avoid food wastage yeah you should know the quantity of rice you can cook with one cup you know how many people it will feed so if you're cooking for yourself or you're cooking for like two people or three people or four people you should know the quantity that you should cook and just stop over guessing it in that way you'll cook too much do you get what i mean so it's all always safe to measure and one more thing guys it is not good enough to just have your measuring cups and not know how to use it well right maybe in another video i'll show you how to use it well but when, when you're measuring with your cups and spoons do not heap it just like level it do you know what i mean that's the proper way to use your cup and your spoon right 
so i think these items are very very essential to avoid food waste wastage and to help you get a recipe very very accurately okay number five will be pots and pans of course these are very very important and essential in your kitchen now they come in different quality different sizes you know what i think this deserves a whole show on its own talking about different pots pans and its uses and i'm going to do just that but for the purpose of this video just know that it's very essential for you to have pots and pans that you can use in your kitchen right so let's move on so number six would be your plates and your cutleries so it's really really important that you have plates of course if not after cooking where would you put your beautiful and um, delicious meals on so you need to get yourself um you can get you know there are these plates or they come in dish sets so you can get a dish set for yourself if you're crazy about plates you know you can splurge and get as many as you want but just get yourself plates and cutleries your your forks your knives your spoons and your teaspoons you know something basic and decent now when people come to your house you're proud enough to present them for them to eat with it's very very important because at the end of the day you eat with your eyes first okay so get yourself nice looking plates and nice looking cutlery so number seven on my list would be a pressure pot now remember guys this is in no order of importance okay but remember what i said there's one item that if you don't get all of these things you must get that one and i'm going to share with you just keep staying here and i'm going to share that with you but for now you must have a pressure pod like if you don't have a pressure pod i mean it just oh i can't even imagine my life without a pressure pod and then we have some fancy ones now the instant pot that can do many things it has many functions and then you can do many things with it but i have the good old pressure pods and I'm not sure my life will be complete without a pressure pot. I've had this for many, many years and it serves me. Now, if you're wondering what is the purpose of a pressure pot, this cuts your cooking time in half, maybe sometimes less than half. Imagine cooking beans in a regular pot. That would take the whole day. But with your pressure pot, you can cook this in half the time in 20 minutes. Your beans is done or 30 minutes, yeah. Or you're cooking cow leg or cow tail any tough item you need your pressure pot guys it is very very important it saves you on gas and energy whatever it is you will be using the so number eight on my list would be for storage yeah you need stuff for storage yeah we have a whole lot more things for storage but i just thought like we're being practical here like you know we'll ease there are many other things you can use for storage but let's baby steps right great so you need to have your cling film okay you know what this is cling film this is ideal for storing anything and if you have plates let me show you something you know like when you cook and you serve um food on a plate and then you see some people they take another plate that does not have a real cover i mean if it comes with its own lid perfect but if it doesn't you take another plate and cover it uh, Personally, I think it looks tacky, right? So something you can do to make it look nicer and presentable and to also lock in the heat so that your food still remains nice and warm is to use your cling film, right? So whatever food you have in here, you just take your cling film nicely and place this on it and, you know, cover it and of course cut off the excess and it looks really nice and presentable and really really tush yeah so that is what you can use this for so this is this will be very nice when it comes to that kind you know covering your plates and make your plate looks nice and present table it has other uses of course and then we have we come here to your aluminium foil this can be used for cooking for baking also for preservation storage you have cake that you've baked you want to preserve it this will do very nicely you want to bake your fish in the oven you use this this will do very very nicely okay or yeah you, you've cooked something you want to store it in your fridge just put it in your foil wrap it up 
and store it in your fridge it will keep your food really nice and safe all right so another storage material i have here is your um is the ziploc bag guys i don't know what i'll do without this it is just so useful and practical like you go to the market now all your fish your meat your prawns you know just anything just put it here and seal it you can even put your um vegetables you know what more and more things or ideas are coming to me i think i need to do a proper video on how to store food to prevent wastage right now all these materials come in very very handy but for the purpose of this video you can use this to store your items your food stuff your rice your beans anything at all it's usually very strong it does not leak if you do not poke it of course and then you can store it well in the freezer in the cupboard anywhere it's very handy and when you seal it it will seal very nicely I love it okay I feel like this uh, an essential item you should have in your kitchen okay number nine on my list would be your bowls your kitchen bowls like I don't even know how anyone can survive without bowls so one of the things that must make your list when you're going shopping for your new kitchen are kitchen bowls they come in different materials you have this type I don't know what to call this now I like all this plastic but you get what I mean you know and then we have the stainless steel or aluminium and you have your glassware they're very very handy you want to wash your meat wash your vegetables wash your potatoes just wash any thing they are fantastic and they come in very very handy so please 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 it should be top on your list okay your kitchen bowls very useful number 10 on my list is your sieve or your colander whatever you choose to call it guys this is so important when you want to sieve your um what's it called now your pasta your boiled pasta and then you want to sieve or you want to sieve your rice or your beans whatever it is you need a very good one they come in different shapes and sizes and of course different materials you can get this one and there's the type that comes and the uh, stainless steel so you know whatever one catches your fancy but it's really really important that you get a sieve or colander at home okay very important guys number 11 on my list is my food processor guys oh i love love this piece of equipment i love it guys who would imagine that this tiny thing is such a powerhouse like you can do so many things with this you can grate you can chop you can even pound yes you can even pound yam with this a lot of people have done it and you know what with this food processor it comes with different blades so you can do different things with it look at this blade for instance this is the one that chops your things roughly like you have your peppers tomatoes you do not want it in a puree form this will chop it up and then you have like the, the grater look at this part of it it will grate anything for you it will cut your cabbage your you know um your carrots anything you want to grate then this part is for slicing like you want to make plantain chips potato chips or you want to slice your vegetables this will do the work nicely for you and in no time like ha huh. Oh, take everything away and leave my food processor but this is not that piece of equipment I've been talking about that is my number one no this is equally as good but it's not that one so stick around this should definitely make your list if you want to have an enjoyable kitchen experience it is so handy and don't let anybody tell you otherwise okay number 12 on my list would be a grater yeah now most of the functions of this grater your food processor can do but this is very handy and useful where you have just like one carrot or two carrots that you want to quickly grate trust me you don't want to pull out your food processor for one or two or some very little items you get what i mean now or if there's no power yeah why in nigeria so we should you know take all of that into cognizance there's no power you don't have to go and turn on your generator because you want to grate one or two carrots yeah so this is very very practical and, and very essential to have you grate here whatever size you want to grate 
and also you can see you can use this one to slice things too you know so it's very functional it's sharp as well so get a good quality grater it will really really serve you and it will last long so you don't have to keep buying it all over again over and over again basically yeah so a grater should definitely be on your list number 13 on my list would be an air fryer i'm sure many of you are already familiar with an air fryer but clearly in this day and age of cooking and eating healthy you want to use as little oil as you can when it comes to frying or you know yeah deep frying more like so this comes in really really handy and you know you can just put whatever it is in your air fryer and then just time it and go to bed well not literally but you know what i mean just put it off and it will do its work it's so handy now this is another type of air fryer actually it's an air fryer oven it does exactly the same thing as this does but it has many more functions you can grill you can bake you can dehydrate you can make your rotisserie chicken you can um what else there's just there's so many functions um the brand is bochi mix and i mean it's, it's just so wonderful i can't i don't think i can do without my air fryer and so i think you should put it on your list if you want to have a memorable and enjoyable kitchen experience number 14 on my list would be your fridge freezer I, I can't move my fridge freezer here so i would have shown you guys but guys it's very essential especially in this day and age trust me you don't want to be cooking your food every day and there are some freezer meals that in the course of time i'm going to show you guys how to like batch cook for a whole month and store in your freezer it saves you time it saves you energy and it saves you money so freezer is very essential and your fridge of course because it's not everything that you can freeze it'll you know it might not be useful anymore if you fridge there's some things that should be refrigerated and the good thing is that you can get fridge and freezers together and they're different sizes so you can get the one that fits your pocket the most so that's my number 14 your fridge and freezer very very essential number 15 on my list would be your gas cooker or your electric burner or your stove top whatever it is that you're going to be using to cook your food it's very very important now it comes in different shapes and sizes so i mean just pick the one that suits your needs the best okay if you want the gas cooker or you want the electric burner it's also up to you but that is an essential thing you must have in your kitchen okay so gas cooker stove top electric burner very important you stayed with me up until this time Mwah! you guys are the best thank you thank you thank you now i'm going to make it worth your while i'm going to share with you that equipment that is the most important personally which i feel you're safe to argue with me in the comment section i want to hear your own point of view and whatever you have to say just do it in the comment section okay so what is number 16 and ultimately my most important kitchen equipment is my blender guys what will i do without a blender a high power blender guys there are different kinds of blenders right you have um the regular blenders and you have a high functioning or high power blender it's a little more pricey but please just do it once and do it for all when it comes to blender quality over quantity do you get what i mean it's no use buying different blenders and they keep burning and spoiling so just go ahead close your eye just manage save that money squeeze yourself and bring out some good money to buy a high functioning high power blender and the good thing about blenders of nowadays that's the high functioning or high power blenders uh, that it can do so many things it, they have so many functions for instance this one can crush your ice this one can make your smoothie so it's like all in one and then in those days when i was growing up we used to go out to blend our beans we used to go to when i mean go out like we'd leave our house wash our beans when you want to make moe moe or akara and then go to like um people in the neighborhood there used to be people who used to have commercial blenders or we call it grinders 
that would help you puree your beans very finely because our blenders then couldn't do it or it's either our mothers then did not buy high power blenders i really don't know what the case is but now you don't have to these blenders are durable they are strong and then they can puree anything like you won't see a single seed your onions your peppers your tomatoes your beans they'll crush it so finely and if you don't want to puree finely you can use the pulse function do you know what i mean and then it won't crush your peppers or whatever it is finely as i said this is even if you don't buy anything this one will work it'll help you it'll make your life easier you can make your smoothie you can make your juices here just blend it and then use a strainer to strain out the pulp and then you have your um your liquid do you know what i mean when you're making your um juice like i've said all the functions it will do so this is very very important everybody uses it and this is one thing you must get okay and so guys those are the top equipment and utensils that i think you should have in your kitchen if you've enjoyed this video like you loved watching it you think it was very practical and it was something that you you know you think will help you in your new place or in setting up your kitchen just type awesome video go ahead and type it in the comment section awesome video and do not forget to give this video a thumbs up it will really really help this video you know grow and youtube will show it to more people so go ahead and like it and of course do not forget to subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in another video until then take care and keep eating good food take care bye